Now, the weather outside is frightful, and as we all age, our faces may start looking frightful as well. <laughs> Why they have me read this? All right, we can't prevent aging, but we can definitely smooth out all those wrinkles. And when you're ready to soften the edges on your face, it can be a challenge finding the help you need. But what if we told you that the Wrinkle Fairy was here to make it all better? Ding! <laughs> Leslie Forrester has earned that title, and she joins us now to tell us more about her magic touch and give us some advice as well. So good morning and welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, we're so happy to have you on. You have no oh, idea. thank you. We did say you should have a little bell with you. Right. But how, how did you get the title or the nickname, the Wrinkle Fair, a Fairy, in the first place? So I think it actually started at birth, to be honest with you. My father has been in the cosmetic surgery business for many, many years, mm -hmm. um, and I followed in his footsteps, mm -hmm. and I've been making people's wrinkles disappear for many years now <laughs> so that's where it came from uh -huh. ah, do you like the title I love it okay good I love it this is an the most wonderful profession to be in it's an honor to be helping men and women feel better about themselves and look better and more well rested so I love this this is my passion this is what I do and I absolutely love the title right nice okay so when someone makes a decision they're gonna do Botox or fillers or they're gonna do something they're just sitting on it and it's bothering them what really what is the first thing they do to find the right person so that's a great question actually um, in this day and age we see a lot of coupons we see um, we may be going to our doctor's offices and notice for a physical hey they do Botox too but what I warn against with people and this is my opinion you want to find an expert in your field in in this field cosmetic medicine should be practiced by somebody who's practicing it a hundred percent of the time not dedicating 10 or 20 percent of their practice to this but for someone like me or the people that I work with the doctors that I work with this is what we do we do it from morning till night six to seven days a week this is what we study this is what we learn and this is what we're passionate about so we are able to get as close to perfecting this field as we yeah. can in our techniques because this is what we do I've heard of people who will be like yeah I went to my dentist and I'm like you had your dentist do I mean listen not to take away from what they do but medically they're completely different. sure I mean I wouldn't let my plumber like cut my hair <laughs> which, which well. should, should be common sense right. But, yes, but there, you know, as a medical professional, in my opinion, I would go to someone who is an expert. And that's what I would seek out when, when doing these types of procedures. Yeah. Now, right. you have an interesting philosophy because for you, it's about less is more it and is. more yeah. natural. Look, yes. Can you kind of explain what your perspective is and what people should have in their mind as far as results go when, when it comes to that? Sure. So we see on television, unfortunately, a lot of overdone looks. And these products were designed not to really create that look, but to soften what somebody looks like. Um, I personally have had, I, I have Botox in my face right now. I have facial fillers in my cheek and my lips and my smile lines. But less is more. I don't, I don't think I look like I've had a lot right. of work no, done. No, we both agree you don't. But yeah. at four years old, I want to, you know, keep myself looking young and well rested. Not that I'm exhausted with a two-year-old and going back to oh, grad no. school <laughs> to get my nurse practitioner and being a wife and working full time. So I want to look like I've had 12 hours of sleep every night when wouldn't I'm actually nice? at night. Right. Oh my so, goodness, yes. wouldn't that be nice? Less is more, oh. absolutely. Less is more, uh, less, less is, is more. more. Yeah. Remember that. And then how much downtime could somebody expect from, I mean, because technology is really unbelievable how advanced, especially in this particular field. A absolutely. It should be something that's you don't have a lot of downtime. No, right? and I don't really consider anything, as far as injectables or Botox and fillers are concerned, downtime, I mean, if you get a bruise a little bit or a little bit of swelling for a day or two or three, I don't really consider that downtime considering the products last anywhere from four months to two years. So it's and worth the price of admission. Oh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. without a doubt. So a couple days, if you bruise, I mean, I don't know, big deal. And they yeah. are staving off, like, you, all of these injectables and things that you do that are non-surgical are really making it so that surgery is not necessarily an option for exactly. a lot of people. Whereas when our mothers or grandmothers or whatever would have right. to go through a full-on surgery. Yeah, right? the only option back then was a full-on facelift, and that's just yeah. not the case anymore. And our particular practice is we spend a lot of money bringing in the latest technology in order to um, offer a non-surgical technique in any category that's that you're looking for so whether it's skin tightening or an eye lift we can offer some type of non-surgical technique wow. so I think as a whole and I would like to see by the time I need a facelift that there's a, a laser <laughs> or a pill or something I can take where I don't have to have the actual surgery but, um, yeah, so it, it, there are a lot of non-surgical techniques, and so downtime is minimized, which is lovely. Wow. Okay. Well, ding, Stop, the Wrinkle Fairy has Where's spoken.
I, I really want to get you a bell. Would you be offended if I did Not that? at all. Yeah. Okay. I'd be happy about all it. All right. And we're going to have you back, too, because maybe we'll get into all the specific things. Like, what do I do with this? What do yeah. I do with that? You'd be willing to come Absolutely. back and tell us? Absolutely. Anytime. Okay. If you would like a consultation with the Wrinkle Fairy or you want to learn more, you could head to lipodoc.com. That's cute, too. That will look Yeah, really it good. is. That's why I want to get, like, a little wand and a yeah, ding. Right.